Uh, hello again, my name is Alex. Uh, I hope you enjoyed lunch. Uh, you might have heard of uh, Chat GPT, uh, an artificial intelligence chatbot that answers almost any question. Uh, so, take for example, I asked Chat GPT, uh, what is the Malaysian lunch culture? What is the Malaysian lunch culture? And its answer is actually not bad. Uh, so Chat GPT mentions that uh, mentions nasi kanda, uh, hawker center, uh, rice and noodles. Uh, but it also describes uh, our workplace culture and our socializing over food. Uh, for workplace culture, it says that in urban areas, many working people in offices often have limited time for lunch. As a result, they may opt for quick and convenient meals such as economy rice or grab-and-go items from food stalls or convenience stores. That's true, isn't it? That office people want quick meals. And for socializing over food, Chat GPT also says lunchtime in Malaysia is an opportunity for socializing with colleagues, friends or family members. It's common for people to dine together and bond over shared meals during lunch break. And this is also true. Uh, we do socialize during lunch. Now, these answers are not Google search answers, uh, not Google search results. Uh, these answers are actually generated by an artificial intelligence model, a model that learns lots, uh, learns from lots and lots of information and then writes its own answers for you. Uh, answers that are as good or even better uh, than my answers or maybe your answers. Uh, that's just one example of AI doing what we can do. Uh, but over the next few minutes, uh, let's explore what else uh, AI can do uh, and explore how we are recreating ourselves uh, to do good things, but also to do some not so good things. Uh, what are some good uses of AI? Uh, one potential use of AI is uh, in detecting uh, diseases in radiology. Uh, AI is currently being trained to detect cancer and other health issues uh, using MRI, uh, CT, and X-ray scans. Uh, it's learning from these things. At the moment, uh, a human plus human plus, plus AI combination is still the best and the most effective way to detect uh, diseases. But one day, uh, say for example, if I go to a hospital because I have a sharp pain. An AI system might tell me, based on the scan, that I have appendicitis or I have cancer. Uh, AI can soon do that, uh, can soon do what a radiologist can do. Uh, another good use of AI uh, is in developing new drugs uh, to cure diseases. Uh, Google has created a, a system called AlphaFold uh, to predict 3D shapes of proteins. Uh, these proteins are, are shapes are then used to create new medicines and, and cures. Uh, and so uh, these will then benefit uh, human beings in curing diseases. Uh, what used to take scientists years and millions of dollars to do, AI has done in a few short years. Uh, in the future, uh, antibiotics that you get from uh, the clinic uh, for you or for your children, uh, they might come from something like this. Uh, so these are some of the best things that AI can do at the moment. Uh, in some sense, actually, we are recreating ourselves very, very well uh, for good purposes. Uh, but AI has also been used to do things that are not so good. Uh, things like cybercrime, uh, deep fake photos, or even pornographic videos. But since last year, AI technology has been used for another purpose. Uh, to bomb Gaza. Uh, the Israel Defense Forces have been using AI to generate more targets for more places to bomb. Uh, in the past, uh, they only had, uh, the, the Defense Forces only had 50 targets per year, 5-0 per year. Now they are given a 100 targets per day by artificial intelligence. Uh, this is why so many people have died. Uh, this is one of the worst things uh, that AI is being used for at the moment. Uh, this is one of the worst ways uh, we've recreated ourselves. 
Uh, that's only the present. Uh, what about the future? Uh, some people are worried about AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. Uh, that's a system that won't just do one, won't just do one thing very well, but it will do almost everything very, very well. Uh, some are worried that these AGIs will overtake us and that we'll be controlled by them. Uh, others think that it won't happen uh, because human intelligence is actually far too complex for that. Uh, but let's at least think about a uh, AGI's potential, about its motives and desires that it might have. Uh, Ilya uh, Sutskever uh, is the co-founder and former chief scientist uh, at OpenAI, the creators of ChatGPT. Uh, and here's what he says about AGIs. Uh, he says, uh, the beliefs and desires of the first AGIs will be very important. A and so it's important to program them correctly. Uh, if, it is th if this is not done, then they, the AGIs, uh, will prioritize their own survival above all else. Uh, it's, not go it's not that it's going to actively hate humans and want to harm them, uh, but it's going to be too powerful. Uh, Ilya continues, he says, and I think a good analogy would be the way humans treat animals. Uh, it's not that we hate, hu uh, hate animals. I think humans love animals and have a lot of affection for them. But when the time comes to build a highway between two cities, uh, we are not going to ask the animals for permission. Uh, we just do it because it's important for us. Uh, Ilya says, and I think by default, that's the kind of relationship that's going to be between us and AGIs which are truly autonomous and operating on their own behalf. Uh, do you see what he's saying? Uh, he's saying uh, that if fully independent AIs are not programmed properly, uh, they will put their interests above our interests, above human interests. Actually, they will be like us, who usually put our own interests above others. Uh, and that's not surprising, because uh, when you and I try to create something more than ourselves, uh, we somehow still end up creating something that is like us. Uh, yes, maybe we will create things uh, better in terms of capability, uh, but still... Uh, it will be like us in terms of mixed motives, mixed with good and bad desires. Uh, so, is there any hope of recreating uh, better versions of ourselves? Uh, will, will, will we have better versions of you and me without all the bad stuff? Uh, in a Christian worldview, uh, the answer is yes, there is hope for that. A better version of us can be created. Uh, and it's created uh, when God recreates us. Uh, when God makes us friends with him again. Uh, the Bible says this, uh, the Christian Bible says this in 2 Corinthians chapter 5. Uh, it says in verse 17 and 18, uh, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Uh, the old has passed away, uh, behold, the new has come. Uh, and all this is from God, who through Christ reconciled us to himself. Now, that, that means that if someone is connected to Jesus Christ, uh, that person is a new creation, a, a new person. A new person who will start having better and better motives, uh, less and less bad desires. Uh, and finally, uh, we'll be in God's new world. Uh, and this this recreation, uh, this making us new people, uh, is not from us, uh, but from God. And this happens when God reconciles us to himself, uh, when God makes us friends with him again, uh, through Jesus Christ, uh, the king of God's new world. So, uh, if you want to be friends with God, uh, if you want to be new people with better motives, uh, all you need to do 
is to be connected to Jesus, uh, to believe, uh, trust, and depend on Him. Uh, that's how a better version of you can be created. Now, whether or not AI will overtake and control us, we don't know. Uh, but at, for us at least, uh, we can keep supporting the positive users of AI, uh, like detecting and curing diseases, saving lives. Uh, and let's keep avoiding the bad users, uh, which will cause harm and death to people. And more importantly, I hope you consider further uh, God's friendship and recreation of us uh, to be his new people. Uh, two, two things before I stop. Uh, next Thursday, uh, we have another lunch uh, and another topic this time on Taylor Swift. Uh, we'll be thinking about why her words and songs, uh, they actually feel like our words and our songs as well. Uh, come listen to that next Thursday, uh, 21st of March. Uh, second thing, uh, if you would like to explore uh, what Jesus did to make us friends with God, uh, then let me invite you to another lunch uh, this Sunday uh, to something called Hope Explored. Uh, there, there will be lunch uh, videos and discussions about the best future you can ever imagine uh, when God is friends with us. Uh, thank you for spending uh, your lunch time with us. I uh, hope to see you again on Sunday uh, or next uh, Thursday. i uh, see you then.